everyone, my name is Supriya Kirkar and I am the author of American as Baneer Pie. I also love to make collage art and sometimes when I get stuck on my writing and I'm stuck with writer's block, I go over to my art corner and I cut up some paper and tape and glue it together and paint it and by the time I'm done I end up finding a solution to whatever it is I was stuck on. So I thought it would be fun today to show you how I make collages. All right, so this is my workstation. Actually, I usually end up making my collages on the floor, but um, I thought it would be easier this way and you could see clearer and I wouldn't have to clean up a big mess of little scraps of paper out of the carpet. So this is how we will do it for the video. Um, the only tools I use for this and the only tools you'll need are scissors, glue, and I just use regular Elmer's glue. And um, sometimes if it's a trickier piece to put together, I use tape, or sometimes if I wanna reuse um, a pretty piece of paper, I use tape so I can take it apart. I like to use um, old Indian wedding invitations so here's an example of some of those that I've already used bits of, so they're a little torn up. But you don't have to use any special paper. Um, you can just use some junk mail that your parents say they don't need anymore. You can use construction paper. You can use regular paper that you've painted with watercolors. The possibilities are really endless. So I cut most of my shapes out already because I didn't want to make a super long video of me cutting, but um, I always start with a piece of cardstock like this, and I like to start by making the walls and the floor. So I picked some scraps from something that came in the mail that we didn't need anymore, and I'll figure out how to, I wanna arrange it as we go along. So I just put a little bit of glue down and stick it on. And there are no mistakes with art. You can always change something if you don't like it, or you can adapt what you are making and change that. So I kind of like how those curves complement each other. And then I move on to the floor. So for the floor, I just cut out pieces of um, wood or clothing that kind of looked like it was all the same color. You can cut shapes out, you can tear or rip shapes out. Um, sometimes I like to rip the paper because that gives you a little bit of a white line over there, if you can see it on the screen. And because I love to read and write, I do like to put hints of letters and words in my collages as well. So sometimes I will cut out little words from pieces of junk mail and use those. So here's a few examples of that. And your shapes don't have to all go the same way. You can sometimes put some horizontal and some vertical or in whatever orientation you like, whatever stands out to you, you can go with it. There are no mistakes. And 
and you can overlap pieces as well. So for this collage, I wanted to do something about hand washing. So I'm going to show a girl washing her hands. And because of that, I decided I would be making a bathroom. So the first thing that came to my mind was it would be really cool to use a pencil as a shower curtain. Um, so I just have to decide, do I like it better this way or the other way? Um, I think I might like it. Maybe I like it upside down. All right. So I'm going to put my pencil there. And I don't glue everything down. When I use fabrics, I just set them down because um, I generally just take a picture of the piece and then it's done. So for this piece, this shower curtain is in the bath background of the bathroom. And um, this is a piece of fabric from some Indian clothes. I like to give a little texture to pieces. So I'm going to put that like that and now it's time. Oh, I forgot I had one more piece of flooring here I'm going to add on here because I cut it so I don't want to waste that. I also like doing collage art because um, I think it's a great way to reuse um, before you recycle things. All right, so I hopped ahead a little bit. I got another piece of paper out that is going to be the wall of my shower and I put a piece of paper there to be um, the tub. So this is just going to be sort of oddly shaped tiles. And the great thing again about collage art is you can make whatever shapes you want. It can be abstract. So you don't have to worry about doing things like another artist you've seen. You can just do what makes you feel happy because it's your art. So this is going to be my shower wall and I'm, I'm not even gonna glue this. I'm just going to slide it under the shower curtain and behind the tub. I just want to make sure my pencil is holding that down. And I like to reuse old Indian wedding invitations. So a lot of them have these tassels on them. And sometimes I've made these into snakes or like a jump rope. So here I thought it could possibly look like a shower hose. Um, I want to put a little bit more white over there. So I'm just going to cut out some more paper and slide it back here like this. And because I did that, I want to add a little more tile there. Here's an instance where I will just tear and put it on. Okay, so now this is going to be the shower head. If it works, maybe it doesn't. I'm gonna maybe loop it a few times and do this. And it is abstract, so you can always just pretend this is my a shower head in this shower that has a pencil as its curtain rod. Okay. I'm just going to do like that. All right. And now we need to make a sink and a person. Okay. So I took a little break from filming to make the sink. I put it on crooked because um, I think sometimes that's more visually interesting. I haven't glued the faucet or the sink down yet, and now it's time to cut out the faucet. Or sorry, the water, I've already done the faucet. So I'm just gonna sort of cut a shape and give it some waves. And you can see that's kind of big, but maybe what I'll do is I'll make this the inside of the sink. 
So I'm going to put that like this. And I hope you can see that. I'm going to use the pieces I cut out for my person. So I like to use sort of a, a bean shape, not a perfect circle always, for people's faces. And I cut this piece of red out as the body of this person. So I'm going to assemble this person separately from the collage so I can move them around until I find the best spot for them. I want her looking down at the sink. I'm going to just use a little drop of glue in case I want to take this apart and do something different if I don't like the way the shapes look in the end. So I can see that if I do this, I'm going to miss out on that shower head's positioning. So. I am going to rearrange this person a little bit and put them like this. And here are their hands getting washed. And this hand, I messed up the thumb a little bit and I messed up the shape, but it doesn't matter. It's still interesting and I'm hiding half of it behind this person, so it's okay. And I'm going to hide the thumb down like this. And then if you've ever gotten a present with tissue paper I that sometimes is torn in the bag, I like to reuse that. I like the texture it gives. So I'm actually going to put this here so it looks like, in between the two hands, like maybe some foaming soap or some soap bubbles there. All right, and then for the final touch, just to add a little bit of a pop of color and some greenery here, I decided to make some houseplants. I, I don't have houseplants in my bathroom, but I thought they would be interesting here. So here's a little stem, and then I cut out leaves, so I just have to figure out what way I like I'd like to arrange them and I have to make sure it all fits on the paper. So I'm a little bit out of space. I thought it would be nicer to have the leaves not really connected like that, but that's okay. I can just change my plan and figure out a different way of arranging these leaves. And I'm not going to uh, glue any of this on. I'm just going to leave it as it is because I kind of like some of the shadows that that makes. So here's one plant. Right, do it, make it like that. And then here's my second plant, which I'm going to have to overlap it a little bit because of the space issues here, which I didn't think about when I cut. Again, it's not a problem. We just adjust it. So here it is. The collage is done. I decided to grab the camera so you can get a better look. So here's the collage and you can leave it like this or you can take markers or pens and draw a face if you want and you can cut out hair. I am actually going to paint on this uh, digitally. I like to work on my collages with a program called Procreate, but you don't need any technology to make beautiful collages at home. You can leave it as it is, as cut or torn paper. You can add to it with markers or paint or pens or glitter or stickers, whatever you feel like doing. So I hope you have a great time over the next few days making collages out of anything you can find and I can't wait to see what you come up with.